Hi guys, um, welcome to the next part of this tutorial series. Um, advanced Ajax pagination using PHP and jQuery. And in this um, tutorial part, we're going to be having a look at how to style the links. So basically, um, in the <clears throat> these links are what I'm talking about here. So right now they do work when you click on them, but um, they don't look very nice. So let's go ahead in our CSS style sheet and actually start styling those. Okay. Right, so go in your style.css page and first what we're going to target is actually these ul tags um, Let me show you that quickly. So basically these tags if you look at them in the browser here They do have these weird dots just next to them. So and they have a it has a padding uh, as a whole so we'll remove that padding now so First thing we'll do is we'll say uh, page links that's the class for the URL tags, the container. So, what styling do we want to give it? We'll give it list style um, of none. And what that will do is that will remove the you know, the link um, dots that we have on the left side. And then next, we remove the padding. Say padding of zero pixels. Uh, what that will do? That will remove the padding on the left hand side. So there will be um flat sorry not flat just um they'll start from the left hand side of the page and let's just refresh that and see so as you can see um all the links been moved to the left hand side so next we're going to float each of the li elements inside and then just give them a width and height right so we'll say page links li say float left and next we'll give it a width of 20 pixels height of 20 pixels and we'll give them a background color of white and we'll give them a border of black so one pixel solid black border so we can see what we're um, clicking on that is the outline of the link so we'll say text align center so the text will be in the middle and last but not the least we'll say margin right so there will be spaces in between each link so 20 pixels let's go ahead and browse and refresh and see what we have so yeah that didn't seem to work uh, let's see why not so we've done this page links oh that's an equal to sign here <laughs> should have been a dash okay refresh and yeah so next let's uh, make sure that when we hover over these the um, cursor changes to a pointer and then it gets um, you get the color of the link actually changes just to indicate what link we currently hovered on so how we do that is we go again and say page links again and um, li hover so basically we say anytime anyone hovers over an li okay and we'll say cursor and what what that's doing is basically just changing as you can see the cursor of the mouse right now is the highlight but anytime we over a link um, let me see I actually don't have a link. so let's, anytime we over any link as you can see the mouse changes from a cursor this is a, a, a selector this is a um, highlighting cr um, cursor and this is a pointer cursor okay so this is the effect that we want to have so since these are not links they're li tags by default li tags don't change the mouse cursor to pointers okay so that's what we want to say anytime we hover over the li tags change the pointer to a cursor sorry a cursor to a point <laughs> getting these mixed up a little bit all right background color um black and color change it to white okay so that should be fine now refresh as you can see anytime we hover over these now they do look like they are links okay and yeah that's it guys and if you're wondering why we didn't use links um basically we could have used links inside of here, but since it's an UL tags, we'll have to do something like allies and then just put the links 
A's inside the lights and basically that that's fine as well but I do it's just unnecessary markup guys I mean anytime you can reduce the amount of HTML you're writing the better for everyone you know any developer coming to your work will be able to follow up easily all right so that's my philosophy and um, I suggest you do the same as well and that's it for this video and um, basically what we did here was just style the links um, underneath the um, pagination framework so in the next video we'll have a look at how we can add previous and next links to this container here so that when you click on next it takes you to the um, next page okay all right guys that's it and thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next video all right and uh, see you later bye